Before getting into the uh, mechanics of adding a new field to an existing screen, let's not forget that Acumatica has attributes for um, all the main entities, for customers, for items, right? For all different kinds of things, right? So my recommendation is that before you add a field to the screen, see if the attribute functionality can provide what you need. Uh, the reason being is that um, adding an attribute doesn't require a customization project. It does not require a reset, that means of the system, which means you can add an attribute at any, any time, okay? But let's say that for whatever reason, you have decided that, no, okay, I don't wanna use an attribute, okay? I wanna have this field part of my screen, like I did here. You see in this customer screen, I added this field called new customer, which is a Boolean, it's a yes or no, right? It's a true or false, okay? So when I do that for this one, I can manually add it, right? To have it here does not have any business logic behind it. That's very important because if you want to drive anything in the workflow uh, out of this new um, field that I added, then uh, a developer is needed, right? Um, another thing is that if you want to make this um, field a required field that it must have a value, for example, then um, you also need a developer. So when you add it here to the screen, uh, all you can do is give it a proper name like this one, you know, a proper label, select the right type of field, and Acumatic will make it super easy for you to add it, okay? but. That's it, really. You know, it's just a, a static, not a static, it's just a, a field that is part of your screen that you can add the value, you know, use it like any other field, and you can use it in your DAX, in your reports, in whatever, right? It's automatically added everywhere where it belongs. So in that sense, there is to use, but it requires a customization project, which means you have to publish when the users are outside the system. But let's go through the mechanics, okay? So basically what you do here is that you go through uh, you go to your customization project. Okay, and I created a new customization project here. You can give it any name you want. And I'm going to open that project. When I open that project, it's empty because I haven't done anything inside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on screens here. It's one of the options, okay? It's a bunch of other stuff here. I'm gonna say here, add screen. I'm gonna see customize existing screen. Only a developer is able to create a new screen and create all the logic behind it. Like, you know, that's, that's not for us um, normal humans. <laughs> okay, this is for superhuman. So I'm gonna go to uh, finance. Um, this is the good old sitemap. And even though you have the new user interface, but the sitemap still lives, okay? Uh, I'm gonna go to payable, and I'm gonna find my vendor screen. I'm gonna pick vendor. So that's all I did, right? Pick the screen that I wanna customize. So now here comes the fun part. Now that I have that screen selected here, so let me show you what this section means, because you really have to get a good handle on that. I'm gonna make this screen a little bit smaller so I can show you what I want. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna go to the vendor screen, right? That's the screen that I modify. Okay, so this is the screen that you're about to modify, and this is the structure of that screen inside the customization projects. If I click here on form, that's this form, that screen. And if I click on add data fields, which is just an option here, the most important thing for you to pay attention now is that you do have a data view here selected by the system. These are the DAX that are being used by the whole screen. Obviously the screen uses more than one because it has one for the 
overall vendor information. There's other DAX involved when it comes to payments, to purchase settings, to locations, and all of these working together to give you that screen, right? What I want to do is like right here after this parent account field, I want to add my checkbox called new vendor, right? I want to keep in mind that I have to think in the, uh, in the, phys in the physical layout here because I'm after that exact section of the screen, right? I don't want my new field to end up in the locations table, for example, right? I want to end up here and I want it to be part of the main DAC behind this, okay? which happens to be the B account. For those who are familiar with the tables, every entity in Acumatica, your customers, your vendors, your, 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 even your branches, they actually live in this table called B account, right? And then there's a sister table for each one. There's a sister for vendors that's linked to B account. There's a sister table for customers and so forth, okay? So don't worry about those details. The fact is you want to select this section here, the main section for form, and you want to see here that data view is for um, vendors now. Um, it is basically it is an alias because even though even here Acumatica selected customer, but I can see is using this right vendor and everything. So the most important part is you do select this section here, okay? Because that's what you're after. Matches the whole form, and then let Acumatica select the data view that it will things will you know end up, and now. You, what you are going to do is that you are going to, let me maximize this one so that you can see better, more space. Okay, so now you're gonna say, okay, I want to create in the add data field, I wanna create a new field, okay? So I'm gonna click here. So give it a name, I'm gonna call it new vendor. Oops, sorry. And when I tab, see what system is gonna do? Give it a few seconds, there you go. This is the field name, okay? Acumatica will always add, automatically add this USR user new vendor. Now, this is your display name. This is what you're gonna have as a label. Make sure that you get it right from the first time, right? No typos, no nothing, right? Um, otherwise, you gotta go back and yeah, it, okay? I wouldn't recommend to try to fix it. It's, this takes a couple of extra steps. Okay, now, this DB table column, leave it as is. Don't change that. Now here is where you decide what kind of field you're gonna have there. It's pretty much is the data type. So you have string for text, in, int for integers, boolean for yes or no, which is what I wanna use, decimal for decimal numbers, right? Daytime for daytime, and this uh, GUID we don't, I don't use. I, I, don't even ask me. So right now, uh, I'm going to pick Boolean because this is the yes or no, or true or false, actually, right? So I'm going to say OK. So when I do that, if I go to the bottom of this list, I'm going to have a warning message that says, OK, fine, you created a new field, but before you can use it, you have to publish this. So I'm going to do that. Publish, current project, and obviously, users will be probably kicked out of the system. You gotta be 100% alone here. See, it's updating the B account data access class. Starting the website, we're good. So I'm simply going to close this one. Okay, and I will refresh my screen so I get the latest status of my customization screen. And I'm going to go back to where I was, select the form. Select the add data field section. Go down here and now you see user new vendor, okay? It's now here, it's valid, but it's not part of my form yet, okay? I only have it in my DAC. So to put it in the form, this is where you wanna be careful so that you don't waste time. Okay, if I expand that, you see uh, this vendor ID, vendor name, this is this section, right? You go to status, you go to column, okay? And this vendor balance is here. All these fields, they match that. But I wanna put it under general info right after this. So basically what I'm doing is I'm finding that area here and it's in, in this section, okay? There you go, this general info, you see? And if I expand this, I'm gonna find the same fields that are here. I'm gonna expand this one. 
There you go, account reference, parent account. You see how they're there? Okay, this other is group account. Okay, so how about if I select on this account reference number, okay, parent account, here's parent account. Okay, what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to select here the exact field, okay, which is where I wanna put my new control. The control is this, okay, control is the um, the screen uh, element that allows you to have data in the system, right? So I select parent account, and then I'm going to select this field, the one that I want to add, and I'm going to say create control. By me selecting this here and this here, then uh, Akimatica is going to put this one right underneath. Okay, so now that I have it, okay, I'm gonna save it and I'm, I'm going to preview the changes. Very helpful because then I can make sure that I put the field where I want it. Data-wise is correct, but I wanna put it in the right place in the form. You see how it's showing me, right? My vendor, new vendor. So I'm okay, I'm gonna publish. And here's our form updated, as you can see here, right? Here's, I'm in the vendor, and now I have this um, field here, new vendor. Um, if I save this, Ecumatica is going to be happy and accept it. Okay, now it's new vendor for that one, right? And if I go to GI here, right, okay, and I add that vendor, uh, see I'm using now the vendor class in, the, in a regular GI, as you see here, new vendor, okay? All right. So that field that was added to the form, to the DAC, is now uh, available to use in any generic inquiry. So there you go. You can use it in reports, right, in whatever you want. Don't forget that before adding fields, see if the use of attributes is a better option because attributes you can control if it's required or not. You can have default values and now Acumatica puts them automatically in all the DAX. So they have become a lot more functional than what they, what they were before. So, but just adding a field like this, right? Just putting, selecting the right form, selecting the right area where to put it, that's easy enough, as you can see.